SBN, the Small Business Network, is a division of Privatel Incorporated and does not sell any of the instruments, goods, or services seen here, nor is it a portal to investment opportunities. Please consult with your financial and legal professionals before making any investment. This concept has been registered with the Writers Guild of America. Hello, I'm Brian DeNovellis. Welcome to SBN, the Small Business Network. TV news for today's entrepreneurs. It is SBN's mission to encourage, educate, and assist entrepreneurs, innovators, and investors as they seek to launch, finance, and operate successful small businesses. On SBN, you'll learn more about franchising and all about crowdfunding, along with profiles, interviews, and showcases for inventors and their latest inventions. SBN is also where experienced investors and first-timers can learn more about the options they have to invest at practically any and every level. So, let's get started after this brief message. And welcome to SBN, the Small Business Network. SBN, the Small Business Network, does not endorse or recommend that an investment into any of the companies or deals included in its programming. Please note that SBN does not conduct any diligence or review of the companies or deals appearing on its network. Neither SBN or its affiliates make any representation or warranty, expressed or implied, as to the accuracy, completeness, or definitiveness of this information. This information is presented to inform the public only and has been obtained from the presenting company's official publications. This presentation does not constitute an offer of or the solicitation of an offer to buy or subscribe for any securities to any person in any jurisdiction to whom or in which such offer or solicitation is unlawful. Investments can and do lose money and you should be prepared to lose your entire investment. Please seek legal counsel prior to investing. Lots of franchises undergo name changes during their lifetime. One of the most recent is when Dunkin' decided to retire Donuts. That's the case with our next franchise up for your investment in consideration. Take a look at Meineke Car Care Centers. They had humble beginnings as just a place to change your muffler. Now Meineke enjoys the value in its name and they're priced affordably. Let's see what we can glean from the Meineke team in this franchise offer video. We looked at many of the competitors. And I found that the Meineke name has been around for 40 something years. It's a household name and they see it as a trusted source of trusted business. We can do just about anything. We can do it from transmission overhauls to engine repairs, whatever it is you're looking for. We actually care about the customers and want them to come back. And that's why we have over an 80% retention rate. Customer service, I, I would say, is Meineke. Meineke is customer service. Nationwide warranty is important to me. I want to be able to say, hey, anywhere you go in the country, you have a warranty to back our, our services and our repairs. Just about everything we do, we give thought to, how's it going to affect the customer? What's the customer going to think? I look at the uh, tremendous growth up here, knowing that it's going to continue for the next decade or two, and I wanted to be part of that growth. I'm Mark Zimmerman. I am the owner and general manager of Little Elm, Texas, Meineke. The company was founded in Texas by Sam Meineke more than four decades ago. They began franchising the name in 1972. Over the years, Meineke Discount Mufflers Shop was successfully rebranded Meineke Car Care Centers with corporate headquarters in Charlotte, North Carolina. Typical expenses of owning a Meineke Car Care Center range from around $84,000 to just over half a million dollars. Those figures cover much of what you'd expect for this type of franchise, such as franchise fee, real estate, inventory, equipment, point of sale software, insurance, training, and initial marketing. If owning a Meineke Car Care Center franchise has captured your interest, the Small Business Network can help. Just let us know by contacting us here, info at sbnfranchise.com. Financing is available for most small business opportunities, including franchising and crowdfunding. Please let us show you how. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. We'll be right back. Pop Goes the Franchise. 
and the franchise we're talking about is Shirley's Gourmet Popcorn Company. It's a customer-driven franchise opportunity that combines an outstanding timeless product with contemporary snacking, gifting, and fundraising possibilities. Since the beginning, the Shirley's Gourmet Popcorn brand has been crafted the same way they make their popcorn, in small, careful batches with an eye toward quality and growth. With revenue lines that include traditional retail, weddings and events, fundraisers, corporate gifts and online sales, growth is practically built into the business model with strategic emphasis on customer loyalty. The Shirley's Gourmet Popcorn strategy is to surprise and delight customers with outstanding customer service, a friendly conversational atmosphere, and unparalleled loyalty initiatives. All of Shirley's popcorn tins are refillable, most for about half the original price in any Shirley's location. Weddings, fundraising, and corporate gift programs have built-in triggers to encourage customers to return to your store. Shirley's Rewards, their loyalty program, is simple and straightforward, incentivizing purchases and connecting you with your best customers. A true small-town success story, the Shirley's team is poised to show you how to duplicate its success in brand recognition, community engagement, and revenue development. They also say they're looking for individuals and teams interested in creating pure happiness for a wide range of customers through its diverse and targeted revenue streams. Let's take a look at some of the franchise offer highlights that caught our attention for Shirley's Gourmet Popcorn Company. What, what may make us a little bit different at this point is that we are still very, very small. And so the great thing for the franchisees coming on board right now is that they get in on the ground floor. So they have direct access to our entire management team. Uh, we're all in at this point. And so when they need help, when they have questions, it is by far in our best interest for our franchisees to succeed and to succeed well. We didn't do this on a whim. We've, we've been working in the gourmet popcorn business for four years. We've spent over a year studying the franchise industry, studying the different models, and then we went out and we found the best consultants there were in the industry to say, okay, what, what makes sense? What works? Is this feasible? And those consultants didn't just help us set up the model, but they also helped us set up our operations manual, our training manual, and so those are really key uh, functions that help ensure the success of franchisees. I'm, I'm very confident that Shirley's someday will, will be a household name. Now here are some stats, some of the estimated expenses for you to launch your own single unit franchise location of Shirley's Gourmet Popcorn Company. Your investment could range from $158,500 to $339,000 depending on the type of location and the required build-out specifications. The expense range also includes a franchise fee of $28,000. As with any new business venture, it is important that you have available capital to adequately fund your new business. A couple of more important notes. Franchisees are required to pay royalties of 6% of gross revenues to the franchisor. Franchisees must spend at least 2% of gross revenues towards store-specific local marketing. There are a number of factors involved in launching any new business, and the Small Business Network can help. Please let us know by contacting us here, info at sbnfranchise.com. We can connect you with business advisors and legal representatives best suited to help you navigate your course in becoming a franchisee of Shirley's Gourmet Popcorn Company. A reminder that financing is available for most small business opportunities, including franchising and crowdfunding. Please, let us show you how. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs. We'll be right back after this message. Stay tuned. How many times have you thought, I need a custom storage solution? Maybe not in so few words, but basically your closets are a wreck and you need some kind of organizing system to get rid of the wrinkles, the snarls, and the pileups. There are a good many consumers out there thinking along the same lines as you, except 
They aren't thinking about launching a new California Closets showroom location like you are. Consider this. Since California Closets pioneered custom storage solutions in 1978, home organization has grown from a small business into a major industry with California Closets leading the field as the most established and recognized brand in the category. The premier custom storage franchise system in the world, California Closets now has more than 100 locations worldwide. They say by starting a franchise, you'll join an innovative company that's constantly evolving to meet its customers' unique needs. As a franchise owner, you can take pride in knowing California Closets is universally recognized for its innovative design, extensive product selection, and strong commitment to its customers. Throughout all stages of growth, California Closets will provide you with comprehensive franchisee business development training. Just as the company seeks to simplify and streamline the lives of its customers, it strives to make owning a franchise a seamless, straightforward experience. You will receive business preparation in which you're taught specialized skills over different learning stages and get the chance to experience various training environments to maximize the potential of your market. Does the idea of owning your own California Closet showroom appeal to your system of success? Let's have a closer look at this small business startup opportunity. Some people look at an empty space and see only what isn't there. At California Closets, we look at a space and see promise. An opportunity to merge functionality with beauty. Art with order. We design and tailor make storage solutions that are more than just furniture. They're an experience. Each piece is precision cut to the exact specifications of your space and labeled for tracking. Once edges are banded, components undergo a careful quality inspection. Only flawless pieces proceed to computer-controlled drilling. Dovetail drawers are constructed and delivered with the rest of your closet to your home or office for custom installation. Our installation technicians pride themselves on their professionalism and expertise. Under their care, your custom-designed closet takes shape quickly and carefully. A thorough cleaning ensures your closet is ready to use the moment it's assembled. And like that, your space is transformed through the perfect marriage of high-quality design and cutting-edge technology. Some people look at an empty space and see only what isn't there. What will you see? Now here are some of the estimated expenses of owning a California Closet showroom franchise. The total estimated expense ranges from $165,000 to $439,500. Some of the items that make up that range include initial franchise fee of $40,000, initial training fee of $12,500, showroom rent ranges from $12,500 to $50,000, showroom improvements ranging from $25,000 to $125,000. Inventory and supplies to commence operations run from $2,500 to $5,000. Equipment, tools, and furnishings between $5,000 and $10,000. Pre-opening employee wages ranging from $10,000 to $36,000. There are many other line items in the estimated total as we said, ranging from $165,000 to $439,500. Some of the other fees to consider, royalty, 6% of revenues with minimum monthly royalty of $3,000 after the third year of operations, marketing fund, 3% of revenues, and local advertising expenditure, 7% of revenue. When you become a California Closets franchise owner, you're likely to find success behind every door, on every shelf, in every nook and cranny. There are a number of factors involved in launching any new business, and the Small Business Network can help. Please let us know by contacting us here. Info at sbnfranchise.com. We can connect you with business advisors and legal representatives best suited to help you navigate your course to owning your own business and being your own boss. A reminder that financing is available for most small business opportunities, including franchising and crowdfunding. Please let us show you how. 
Stay with us. Coming up, the Funding Fast Five, investment opportunities that may be just right for you. This is SBN, the Small Business Network. You know we're all about inventions here at the Small Business Network. You may have heard our boss is always on the lookout for the next big thing. And that typically includes inventors and the inventions they're bringing to market. Well, here's an example of one of those inventions that's on the market available for your purchase now. From absorbent specialty products, it's Quick Dam, the next generation of flood protection. Since 2004, they have been providing flood control solutions to a variety of industries. The leaders at Absorbent Specialty Products believe that in every problem there is opportunity. They are problem solvers and love a challenge. As they say, for a small woman-owned business, we offer big solutions. QuickDam offers the latest in flood protection for challenges large and small. There just might be a QuickDam in your future. Check it out. Follow the link on your screen. Quick Dam, the next generation of flood protection. Get yours today. The U.S. Small Business Administration, or SBA, is dedicated to helping entrepreneurs and small business owners start, grow, and succeed in their business ventures. In fact, some of the most recognizable brands started small. Ready to start or grow your small business? Visit sba.gov to learn more about how we can help. You're back with us here on SBN. I'm Brian DiNovellis here with this edition's Funding Fast Five, five current campaigns looking for your investment. Here's number one in today's Fast Five. What a coincidence. It's for One Dome, the one-of-a-kind, one-and-only immersive entertainment experience. That's a fancy way to say it's the first interactive digital art destination here in the U.S. Its 20,000 square foot flagship in San Francisco launched in October 2018 with the Unreal Garden, a first to market large scale augmented reality art experience, and in December opened LMNL, a labyrinth of 14 interactive rooms and installations. Since opening, its revenue growth has been 85% month over month. Let's not waste one more moment. Let's visit One Dome and see what it can mean to your investment portfolio. The minimum investment is $1,111. They never lose focus on the one. They want to be the leader of digital first interactive art and immersive entertainment experiences delivered through a series of permanent and temporary destinations. One Dome will be a way for artists to earn a living through their work by sharing in a percentage of profits from ticket sales, monetizing digital art, and creating community give back mechanisms. To learn more about One Dome, drop us a line, info at sbncrowd.com. You can also tweet us here at ConnectSBN. Next up, number two in the Funding Fast Five. 
It's the Mid-Atlantic Studios, a full-fledged production facility for film and TV situated between Maryland and South Carolina. The Mid-Atlantic Studios is a film studio based in the Mid-Atlantic region, Maryland, D.C., Virginia, West Virginia, North Carolina, and South Carolina, conducting 100% of the hiring from this region. According to its founder, they have stories to tell and they're creating a more sustainable environment for filmmaking throughout the region. Let's look at the positioning statement brought to life in the video highlights from the Mid-Atlantic Studios. Hey, I'm a Mid-Atlantic filmmaker and we've got stories to tell. I come from a hurry land to tell a tale. Maybe not those kinds of stories. We've got five of the wealthiest counties in the country and we're number one for documentaries. We're in the top five for theaters. We have the cast, the crew, and the financing. So why aren't we making more films locally? Financial incentives are great, but are we going to wait for them? No, this is a problem that we can solve ourselves. How, you might ask? Together we can, with equity financing. This is not your typical crowdfunding where you walk away with a DVD or a t-shirt. You're the investor. When we make money, you make money. Together, filmmaking. Hey, I'm Ron Newcomb. I'm a locally based filmmaker. Where I've been doing films for nearly 20 years. So welcome to the Mid-Atlantic Studios, where 100% of the films funded will be productions by those living in Maryland, DC, Virginia, West Virginia, North and South Carolina. That's right, 100% of the cast and crew by the Mid-Atlantic region. Now look, I know that sounds a little crazy, but that's how I know it's the right answer. I know that we can do everything we need right here to make a great and sellable film. So we're looking to kick this off with three slate of films. Not where one person gets rich, mind you, but creating a sustainable filmmaking culture. I will say that film is risky, and startups, well, they're riskier. But we'll do everything that we can to mitigate those risks. Now, we have two scripts that are picked out and ready to go. But the third, well, the third is intentionally left open for you to submit once we're funded. Now there's really only one question that remains. Will you invest with us to be a game changer for the Mid-Atlantic region, for your region? I hope so, I'm counting on it. If the Mid-Atlantic studios have you thinking, lights, camera, action, invest, the minimum to get on board is 100 bucks. Next up, number three in today's Funding Fast Five, Nude Bar, as the pitch says, True color, true you, empowering women 12 true nude shades at a time. They tell us in fashion, nude historically means beige or pale pink. Founded by a professional dancer who felt the selection to be lacking, she created Nude Bar so everybody, no matter their color, could find their perfect nude. Our 12 shades of intimates are durable enough for athletes, stylish enough for everyday fashion, and loved by celebrities like Serena Williams, Wendy Williams, Laverne Cox, and Tyra Banks. Let's give a look to the pitch for Nude Bar. My name is Erin Carpenter, and I'm the founder and CEO of Nude Bar. Nude Bar is a line of intimate apparel and hosiery made in 12 shades of nude that match women's skin tone, from really fair skin all the way to really deeper or dark skin tone shade. My passions are being an artist, artistic expression, creative thinking, and creative problem solving, as well as service to others. I basically started Nude Bar based on my experiences throughout my dance career, based on a series of really embarrassing moments moments that really stuck with me throughout my lifetime as a performer. I train as a ballet dancer, as a modern dancer, I danced at Harlem, Alvin Ailey School here in New York, and also where I grew up in D.C. And I'm also passionate about this product and helping women feel comfortable in their skin, helping women feel like I'm thought of on the market. Most brands are making between two to four skin tone shades um, currently in the market. The undergarment industry is a $110 billion industry global. And if we kind of added this extra option to the marketplace as far as various skin tone shades, like Nude Bar has. Nude Bar has 12 shades. So we're offering all women, again, from fair skin all the way to deep for tones and everything in between. And this allows women to feel confident, right? Your, your undergarments are the foundation of your outfit. And if you don't feel good underneath and then you put on other things over top, then you're not really gonna feel powerful and confident throughout your day. Check out what we have to offer and empower women in your life. 
If it matches your expectation for investment, you should know the minimum for nude bar is $100. Moving along to number four in the funding Fast Five. It's always tea time somewhere in the world. No, we're not talking about golf here. We're talking about Charles & Company, a custom blend tea provisioner trying to stir up your investment. Charles & Company is an organic luxury tea brand that celebrates the romantic tradition of British tea. In the world of Charles & Company, everyone is a dignitary who has earned the reward of a relaxing, invigorating cup of the world's finest tea. Time for a cuppa? Well, how about a moment to see the pitch video for Charles & Company? Let's do. Hi, I'm Lawrence Charles. I'm the founder of Charles & Company Tea. And tonight we're at the James Beard Celebrity Chef Tour dinner. Charles & Company is actually a luxury organic and kosher tea brand. Uh, we started about three and a half years ago, but we focus on the romanticized aristocratic British lifestyle around tea. So we work with a lot of dignitaries, royals, and celebrities. And I founded the company actually uh, on a bicycle with a backpack. And uh, coincidentally, my buddies actually found me originally selling tea on the street. And here at this restaurant, it's called Peddler's Fork, so it's all designed around bicycles and the enthusiasm around that. We are fortunate enough to deal uh, with, you know, Charles and Company. You know, it's been a, a really cool thing to add on because we do like to, you know, take everything here to a great level of detail, and we take the coffee very seriously, the beer, the food, all these things really seriously. So it's really awesome for us to have you know, a tea brand with someone who's paying that same level of attention to detail that we do. Originally, I just wanted to sell tea. And, you know, so my background is in industrial design, so I'm a product designer. And so I just wanted to make something cool. And all I had was a bicycle at the time. So I got on my bike and I went to neighborhoods I thought I could sell my tea. And it was just some amazing people, like some celebrity chefs that kind of took note as to what I was doing. And they pulled me into some of the amazing dinners and amazing things that they were a part of. People around me pointing out to me the importance of what was necessary and building a business that not only your heart was into, but your, your understanding, your wisdom, and your business mind was into. And so I tried to do the best I could in this particular way. Charles & Company believes if a cup is worth doing, it's worth doing it right. You can join in the mission to tee the world with investment starting at 99 bucks. Last but not least, number five in the funding Fast Five. We think you'll dig Dig, the dating app for dog owners. The people behind the campaign for Dig understand before you ever introduce someone you're dating to your parents, you have to make sure they pass your dog's sniff test. Your dog is your best friend for a reason, after all. Let's check it out from your dog's perspective. On the couch, on the chair, on the bed, or on the floor, this is Dig. Don't let the complicated world of dating dog you down. Invest in your future when you invest in DIG. The minimum is 99 bucks. If you want to know more about the campaigns in today's Funding Fast Five, the Small Business Network can help. Let us show you how. Drop us a line here, info at sbncrowd.com. You can also tweet us here at ConnectSBN. That's going to wrap things up for this edition. I'm Brian DeNovellis, and I hope we've given you something today worth considering for your investments now and for the future. We hope to see you back here for our next edition. Thanks for making us part of your regular viewing habit. 
We'll see you next time right here on SBN, the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs.